The solidarity visit by the Niger Delta leaders to the FCT minister is something that is quite um, commendable. Yeah. Yes, but looking at um, their message is quite direct. And um, what can we make out of this message, considering the the FCT uh, minister that um, uh, uh, yes, some week we, who has actually also been direct to express his feelings towards his political structure in the state. Do we uh, have this message um, to an extent to uh, actually quell the situation uh, between him and the incumbent governor, Fubara? Well, the, the coming to issue of a uh, political structure, nothing should be a reason for destabilizing the peace of a state or of a society. Nothing. The law is very clear in answering Dr. Bob that when whatever issue that arises and the issues of national security comes in play, that national security takes precedence over any other issue. It's a matter of priority, urgent priority. In fact, looking at what is going on, it is something that is a time bomb which is waiting to explode. So if care is not taken, and if caution is not exercised, you see that uh, even the structure you are talking about will even be destroyed. So what we should be talking about is peace <coughs> first, <coughs> to ensuring that there is peace. The structure will always be there. Politics, this is not a time of politics. Like uh, borrowing his own words, the words of uh, Governor Wick, the, uh, the now Minister of uh, FCT, uh, political party is a vehicle. <laughs> that conveys everyone to where you want to go to. And whenever you go to your destination, you are light, and then start doing governance. So this is the time of governance. So let, uh, for governance to actually take place, you must have peace, security of lives and properties before governance will thrive and meaningful development will come into play. So the issue of structure in this instance shouldn't come in because we are not in the time, the era of politics. This is the era of development. This is the era of, era of leadership from okay. his own point of view. Okay, one of the things that um, in the course of uh, yes a week is um, desperations or emotional outbursts on all of this issue, beyond the issue of structure, said nobody can threaten me. Now, it seems like this uh, Niger Delta leadership uh, team, they seem to be a subtle threat, like they took it to his domain. Sir, you have a responsibility to fix this, fix it. There was no room for, like, what did not, um, the River State, so the so called River State elders did. I didn't know there was anything like that anyway until now. So, River State, uh, the elders forum, yeah, they, they, they were basically pushing the blame on Fubara and all of that. But these people are saying, we are not open to negotiate this with you, fix it. For a man who said nobody can threaten him, remember that President Buhar, uh, Tinubu have also weighed in into this now, and uh, for he now made for that statement. Now that the Niger Delta leadership have taken this stand and to his domain, what do you think we're going to expect from the uh, FCT minister, considering that the governor of River State have also come out to apologize, to say, Peace is the best way for us to go about this. That shit are sword and all of that. Do you think that the FCT minister is going to take a cue from what Fubara has done and what these people are asking him to do? Well, talking about what I think of what uh, decision he has not taken, I don't know what is in his mind. Mm -hmm. But to me, I would advise, the only thing I would do is to advise that the, the minister of FCT to key in into the peaceful disposition of the governor who has already come out to apologize. And the apology is to the extent that he recognized the fact that the FCT minister is his leader. 